Hey guys, I'm Reza Red and today I want to talk about how to do a year-to-date tax calculation very easily. As you can see in this Power BI file, I have a, a single table called Fact Internet Sales and this table has sales information column, sales column, and it has date fields as well. One of these is order date field. So I want to create a year to date calculation over this order date. I would create a new measure here. This have to be measured because it is an aggregation. I call this sales YTD measure. There is a function for calculating this. It's called total year to date. And as you can see, there are other versions of that as well, like quarter to date, month to date. So total year to date. And then you have to use your expression. In this case, my expression would be sum of my sales field, which was called sales amount. And then you need a date field here. So this uh, accepts an, a date field. So the date field, I would put that order date field. Uh, every uh, date field has a hierarchy of date in Power BI automatically. So I just select the date and close bracket. So this is the calculation of year to date. Um, I just make it a little bit bigger so you can see that as well. So total year to date uh, for some of the sales for a date field. When I do this calculation, now I can show this value here with the order date sales amount itself and sales year to date. And it, and here you should see how this calculates the value. So you can see that for the first row, this is sales amount. That's the same year to date. For the second row, this is sales amount for that date, but year to date is increased. So year to date values are increasing gradually. If I remove day, this now shows me year to date over a monthly period. So this year to date accumulate till end of the year, then start again from January onwards. So that was a very simple year to date calculation with just this expression. When you have a date column in your um, table, Power BI automatically create a date hierarchy on that and that date hierarchy has a field called date. That field is important to be selected when you do total year to date. So this was how easy it is to calculate year to date with Power BI.